all right good morning everybody yeah welcome to today's class so today we want to look at natural group and when you talk about natural group natural group simply means the connection of computers together that is why do we want to do a natural group because we want to learn how computer can be connected together so that they'll be able to share resources share data and other information so for natural group we said it is the collection of computer and device that allows which is connected so the second one we are looking at is types of natural group and we have three types of network group the first one is one which is wide area network followed by LAN, which is large local area network and the last one is man which is metropolitan area network what do we mean by one one simply means the connection of computer in a long distance this is the type of network that the internet uses so that is the reason why we can have access to the internet all over the world and what does this wide area network uses one what it uses is known as the it used the land and the man meaning that the combination of land and man will give us one so that is all meant by that that is before you can have access to the wide area network definitely you will be you must connect your man and also your land together so that it can move at a fast rate the second one is LAN, and LAN is the local area network this is the type of network that is being used in a particular environment or in a building in order so that the computer can be able to share resources share their files share other things among one another you can print from any of the computer system once it has been connected to a LAN network and the last one is man a man network which is known as metropolitan area network is covers a large geographical of zone these are the types of network that is being used in an industry or a company or a skew for instance we are only making use of one internet which is supplying all the offices and also the ict lab so this is what we make use of there is known as a man network so we connected all the land together in all the offices so that we are able to have access to the internet but we also have the one that the library is making use of which is known as another man network so the next thing we are looking at again is search engine what is a search engine a search engine is an application software that allows users to be able to search for information online or making use of the internet so all the search engines that we use is in getting information from the internet all those applications are called search engine and we, i will be mentioning some of the examples and some of the examples that i'm mentioning is google.com which is commonly used by everybody and we also might have askme.com we have go.com we have yahoo.com and we also have wikipedia.com all these are examples of search engine we have other search engine that is that you'll be mentioning in your assignment so the next thing we are looking at is the uses of search engine what are the uses of search engine the first one is we use it to we can use search engine to search for graph we can use it to search for software both application software and system software we can also use it to search for videos or music or different kinds of files that we want or that we want to have access to and the second uses is that we, it is also used to search for latest story or news information that enables us to be updated about what is going on in our country and even outside our country and the last one the third one is that it can also be used to search for groups that is news group that people belong to posting and online and offline events that are performing service such as chat instant messages and products 
product and other things we can also shop online by searching for different stores that are online and we pick the best so that we will be able to have make our shopping and they will deliver it to us and the next one is it also provide access to different senses projects and seminar which means that most people that are in the university they go online to search for their project to search for their seminar when they are about to graduate because after before graduation you must write a project and even along your course when you are having when you are studying whatever you want to study you will also present a seminar which is very very important so most of people go online to search for the topics even to go ahead to search for different materials and the fifth one is that it can also be used to complement textbooks journal or magazine if for instance probably maybe you are studying a particular thing in your textbook and you do not understand it you can go online to get more information about that particular thing that you are studying and also journal you can also have access to different journal on the internet making use of your search engine and also magazine just like most of you you like looking at the pictures of celebrities so you can go online search for their magazine look at the ways they dress and i want to believe that those ones will not add a positive to you so you can also look at christian's magazine online so that is the end of today class so you have an assignment you are to outline 10 different search engine and also 